Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Latherix. And of course, welcome back to Factory Fun, the series in which you tell me which robot you want me to try out from the community factory, and I do just that, giving my honest first impressions and rating the robot out of five in both style and combat. As you might expect, since that's the rating system Robocraft has gave us. In today's episode we are going to be testing out the Infinity Guardian by Daryl Carlos, I believe. A tanky and moderately fast hover with a lot of redundancy, capable of wiping out groups with a medic behind you. Honestly, I wouldn't disagree with that. It looks fairly tanky. I'm not 100% sure where the hovers are. I mean, that's generally a good sign that you've got the hovers in a very defensive position. I assume the shield there is for the seat. I can't quite see. I'll have to have a look see what I'm actually riding. Yep, there's the seat, and it's even got a speedometer, I believe. Honestly, first impressions is it looks pretty good. A lot of SMG redundancy, a lot of block spam, and ultimately, it looks nice in terms of aesthetics as well. I'm not overly keen on the shields, but I'm never overly keen on the shields, so it's more of a personal preference there. So good job so far. I'm not sure about the red cubes either. To be perfectly honest, they do stand out a bit and not in the kind of highlighting way. They just look a little bit out of place. But again, personal preference and nothing exactly major. Let's quickly hire it. And for once, we're going to give it a very quick test in the sandbox mode in the test robot area purely because the more I try out hovers the more I realize it's so easy to imbalance them and I'd rather know about their imbalances before I get into a battle than afterwards so it's something I'll be doing from now on. Nope it seems pretty darn balanced honestly let's just pop it up to maximum overclock. Yep seems pretty balanced to me it's not very quick I will say that, it's definitely not the quickest thing, but in terms of balance, it's very, very easy to control. Actually, it's remarkably easy to control. Will it flip? Nope, okay, so control-wise, 10 out of 10. Really, really nice to use, really well balanced, and overall just a joy to try and turn with, unlike a lot of hovers I've used in the past. How about something steep? What happens then? Well, it really smacks it, but again, nothing major. It doesn't cause it to flip, doesn't cause it to, um, dra to, to drag along the side for very long either, so not that bad. Aha! There we go, we flipped it! <laughs> we are successful, and there we go, there's the hovers. So, I will say that Plasma is going to have fun knocking those out, being so um, open at the bottom, but if you play it carefully, I'm sure that will also be a non-issue. And once again, overall first impressions definitely on the positive side. But let's see just how it does in combat. So I'll be right back with our first team deathmatch. And so begins the first battle on my favourite map. Let's see how this hover can actually do. So we have a pretty balanced team, a fair few rails on both teams, but we have... Four SMGs, two plasmas. Yeah, we've got a pretty balanced team indeed. Okay. Let's just follow everyone else and see how we do. I don't know how tanky this thing actually is, so I'm not sure if I should try and go ahead and have a healer next to me, or if I should be a bit more mid rangey I really can't tell. Oh. Okay, well, apparently the both medics are going this way, so we're sticking with the medics then. Medics, you control the charge, apparently. So after all that, and someone pinging over here, they all just stand on the ri- Yep, yeah, that seems legit. Well, there's a plasma over there somewhere. There's someone trying to sneak around. Backing off a little bit. There is several rails on- There is three rails on the enemy team, so we do need to be a little bit careful in that regards. We can be sniped very easily. Now this thing climbs up walls, fair enough. There we are. Told you about the rails, and look, there's their, their plasma bomber as well. Well, we certainly took damage well. And the medics have left me, okay. Oh, there we are, excellent. Well done, medics. Not, not really the best play for me there, but with our team so split up and lacking direction, I didn't quite know what to do. Oh, hello. What are you doing there, sir? Bombers, okay. Well, he just crumpled up. Excellent, first kill. And a medic is also very much out of position. I'm not going to complain. These are Mark 8 guns, yes? 
Yes, okay. Mark 8 guns with Mark 7 armor block spam. Seems pretty nice to me. Even with the poor play so far. Hello! One on one. Perfect. Let's see how this thing does. Really should have been focusing on guns there. Oh, two guns left for him and many more guns for me. Yet yeah, that was a victory even if my medic is now coming in to help. And that rail has one gun. I'm okay with that. Oh, no, don't make it unfair. Medics, to me. Excellent. Yeah, if I was actually focusing on the guns there and being a bit more clever-headed and, you know, not playing about 4 a.m., that might have gone even better. But yeah, definitely one-on-one -on -one that very well. Let's just get back to full health before we go back to battle. I've, I've only just realized how low tier that little plasma guy is. Just do a bit of burst firing against him. And let's make our move. The rail shouldn't be able to hit me if I stick low enough. Particularly with the rocks there. Not going to focus on getting the kill there, just really want to get to the next position. Oh, rail walk in the middle. Did a little bit of damage to him at least. But I'm more concerned about the rail that was up there a second ago. Okay, gonna risk it, going on my own. Already been spotted, not much, but sure by who there he is. Oh, this little car guy. Well there, go. well, there goes half his body. Yeah, one over tiered rail just doesn't do what it used to do, sadly. If he's going that way, I'll go this way. Oh, enemy rail. Why out of range? Come on, that's it. Keep on firing. Wasted all of his ammo. Not going to, not going to complain there either. Where's the little car gone? I think I see him there, up just above that hill. Nope, that was just a bit of a graphical glitch. Never mind. I'm not saying his car looks like a, a graphical glitch, but it looks like a graphical glitch. Hey, flying medic, well done, sir. Nicely timed. Now, where's that rail hiding out? Which... There is. Anyone else? There's two on, it on the enemy team. I'm guessing the car and him. I wonder if we can climb up that mountain. It'd be great if we could. Though I do think those have got there first. Oh, we can! Okay, happy with that. Um, where are we firing? Must have already killed him. Yeah, already killed him. So there's only one enemy left now, which I think, <laughs> amazingly, is the little car with only one gun. So well on him on surviving so long. He was going around this way when I last saw him. Of course, that was quite some time ago. No idea where he is now. Could be pretty much anywhere. Search and destroy, lads. Search and destroy. The cruiser can't hide forever. I'll go over here since they're both covering the base. I wonder if this thing has a radar. I don't think it does. How about radar jammer? Also don't think so. I'm following those marks, but don't think he's actually there, sadly. Team victory, well done. Okay, that didn't go too badly at all. Ignoring my less than stellar play there, that actually went really well. It was very easy to control, it broke apart very well, it beat several bots one on one, it took rails like a champ without being crippled. Um, not once did it seem absolutely crippled, even at a low health percentage. Yeah, I mean, it did everything I'd want it to do, and even more so, so let's wait for this to eventually connect to the server, and we'll give it our rating. Well, that certainly took its time, but here we are. Okay, I'm fairly certain about what ranking I'm giving this bot. In terms of combat, I think a very solid 4 out of 5 is necessary. It didn't cripple quickly, it was very easy to control, and overall it just took damage really well, so... I would give it a bit of a higher score if it was just a tad faster, but I do understand that hovers aren't the easiest thing anymore to actually speed up. So 4 or 4.5 four is the ranking I would give this thing. In terms of style, subjective as always, I think between 3 and 4 is where I'd give it, and I'm going to be on the kind spectrum and say 4, I would really say 3.5 out of 5, really, if we actually had that option, but I think 4 is also a fair enough 
ranking. So, sorry, writing. So, yeah, really do like the bot so far. Really fun to play. So let's go ahead into yet another battle and see if we can continue with that positive feeling. Second battle commence. Let's see how we do. Okay, so what does the enemy team have that we should look out for? Two plasma bombers and a flying rail. So they're the main things we'll have to just keep our eyes out for, like that guy there. And other than that, we'll just go forward and be the tank, hopefully. Oh, he doesn't seem to be doing too well in terms of control there. Is he, is he actually crashing? Have we already took out one of their flyers? It seems like we indeed may have. Absolutely wonderful. Good start, very good start indeed. Quite a weird little bot. There goes his final gun. We are being attacked by an SMG, but thankfully we do have backup, so I'll just press on. Ooh, our little, int our, our little interceptor there. He's taking a beating. But thankfully we have had the chance now to actually do a bit more damage to them. Those are some really nasty SMGs it had. Ooh, we've lost hovers very asymmetrically there. Not the best. Do we have a medic? Yes, we do, so we'll try and get to him. But first, let's kill this medic. Bit of an aggressive medic there, but I don't mind. I don't mind accepting the kill. I really don't. I know it's very kind of me. Aw, oh, poor, poor SMG. He kind of... Honestly, without him, I might have simply died there, because the enemy definitely had tier 9 SMGs. I don't think I, I would have survived without his distraction, but we are now leaving him to try and get to the healer. Survival and all that is very important. Oh, oh there, there is an SMG there, but we do have an SMG flanking, so hopefully he won't be able to move forward too much without being distracted. Oh, we just went past the whole firing line there. Did a little bit of damage to, to the walker there, but sadly his shields were very well placed. Bit more damage. Oh, perhaps we can go for the rail. Medic's backing off, sadly, so we aren't going to be getting heals here. I think this may be our end. A bit aggressive on our part, but it is a good time to get that rail. And we are faster than that SMG, so we can run away if necessary. Which I think it is. Should have been firing backwards there. There's no point in me just looking forwards there. Medic plus! Just stay still. I'm coming to you. You know, you could have walked towards me as well. Team victory! Thanks, Medic. Overall, though, that was very, very good. But that that walker was just far too tanky. Full Mark... No, not Mark 9. They'd be Mark 8 blocks, because they're the red blocks. And really well-positioned shielding just wasn't going to work out well for me. As always, that's one of the problems I always see with bots like this when the guns are on the side. I've never liked guns on the side. I do understand why they're there. It means the guns are on a different plane to the other guns, which is fantastic. And, of course, it means you've got more surface area to actually place more guns in terms of adding redundancy. However, having guns which you have to be f firing directly forward for can result in the occasional blip when you're just not paying enough attention, not facing the enemy head-on, and half of your guns simply aren't hitting the target. And I did that a few times during that match, and I'm sure I'll do even more as we continue. And so begins the third match on the Cursed Map. So we have two healers, which is pretty darn fantastic, and we really have to look out at the skies. I think they had four plasma bombers? No, sorry, they had two plasma bombers and one flying medic, that's what it was. Okay, apparently I wasn't paying quite enough attention, and the entire team's going this way, so let's follow them. Oh, there we go, didn't quite flip over, very lovely indeed. But still, let's keep an eye out for the skies, and make sure to provide some anti-air support for our plasmas, which we do have plenty of. Kinda wish these two plasmas were a little bit slower right now, so the medic could actually catch up. Oh, enemy rail. Spotted him, uh, could we do a bit of SMG damage? Nope, he's hiding away now. Okay, get ourselves down, and spot both of those flyers, which I think are actually in a platoon, according to the thing at the start, the loading screen. I think that was one of our plasmas, die, and we have an SMG just right there. Okay, one-on-one -on -one once again. Always a good test, although we do now have a medic. Oh, although they do also have a rail, so... Even so, absolutely devoured that perfect. And that had tier 9 blocks on. Wow. Load of damage to that medic. Sorry to that um, rail there. 
One day I'll get all the different types of bots names correct first time. Ooh, Medic not defending his SMG friend. Good for us. And there he goes. The power of block spam is absolute. None may contest it. It's like he's everywhere at once. That's amazing. Can we get that last rotor? Doesn't really matter if we don't. There he goes. And he's no... Oh, bugged out flags. And he's no longer a copter. He's a block. A dead block. Yeah, so far, really, really do like this bot. The only complaint I have, and it's not really a complaint, it's more just of a... You know, I I do this series and I have to find some flaws because I'm looking at it as critically as possible. I will say that the hovers are a little bit vulnerable. That's all. Maybe a bit of triforcing, maybe hiding them a little bit more in armour. Although saying that, then you'd have to sacrifice some of the size of this bot, which isn't exactly what you'd want. So, I don't really know what you'd do about it. That's the only thing I will say I do find a little bit worrying, but... Very minor complaint. Rael. I'm trying to kill your friend here. Why are you so rude? Okay, now we go for the rail because, well, that was annoying. Oh, that's one I hurt earlier. Well, at least I, I now get to finish the job. Oh, sorry, Medic, for leaving you alone, but I do really want to kill that rail. Hello! There we are, kind of flipping around a bit there, making it a little bit hard to control my guns. Wow, one of their team who's left has three kills. Not good. Where did that rail go? Tiny little guy. About yay high. Had rail guns. Oh, that's a plasma. And my and my monitor just turned off. Good timing. There we are. He's dead. And the rail. I have actually no idea. Hmm. There he is. Yeah, he's it. Oh wow, he's actually at full health. I thought that was like a damage thing. Wish I'd spotted him honestly, because now I don't know where he's gone again. Showing the need for a um, radar there. Plasma Bomber, who's clearly crippled and no longer able to fly. There's the rail going off. And can we perhaps get the kill on this plasma? I can hear him currently rectifying, so now's the time, if possible. Yes, there we go. And down he goes. Excellent. Their rail sadly is still alive, and one of our plasmas is currently capping, so perhaps we could just lay an ambush here. He went that way. The fastest way for him to go back is it's him to go back on himself. But hopefully, he'll either be killed by our, our remaining rail, or we'll just win by capping. Team victory! He got killed by the rail. Excellent. And fantastic score. Really fun. Let's have one more match, shall we? Eight kills, one assist. That's pretty good. Alas, sadly, I ended up disconnecting from three matches in a row, so I'm going to take that as the hand of fate telling me it's time to call the episode an end. Ultimately, I'm really happy with this bot. The more I played with it, the more I got used to it, the more I enjoyed it. It's really tanky, it can definitely take damage well, it cripples incredibly slowly, its handling is perfect, and its redundancy is beautiful. I just really liked it. I have very, very few complaints, and honestly, like I said, the, the one complaint is just the fact that the hovers are a little bit exposed, but I don't really know how you would avoid that in this kind of style of bot, perhaps if you had more CPU to use, for instance, uh, I think, yeah, he's almost 300 less CPU than the max, so if he was a higher level when creating the bot, of course you could simply add more blocks and defend it better that way, but for its level, for the ranking it is, I think it's an excellent but definitely deserving of the four in combat. I would go as far as to say four and a half. That last match really showed off just how well this thing can take damage, even when a very tired Lathrix is behind the wheel. So, with that, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see your robot or a robot you know of seen on this series, then of course, tell me in the comments below the robot's name the username of the person who created the robot, be it yours or be it someone else's, and of course the ranking of the bot and what type of robot it is. The more information you give me, the higher chance I will select it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Factory Fun is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.